Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Janice Marie Collins and I am the president of AFIDFF. It is so wonderful to be here with you today, but I'm so sorry that I cannot join you physically. But spiritually, I have never left and I know God willing, I will once again step on the rich soil of beautiful Africa soon and welcome you once again. I am so honored and proud to be a part of this amazing team of transformational leaders. They have done a wonderful job in setting up and presenting to you this important event commemorating your independence and the launch of this exciting competition. I know that you are going to enjoy yourselves and I thank you for coming today to show your support of our work to change the world in empowering and positive ways through storytelling. As a journalist, educator, scholar, researcher, activist, and humanist who believes wholeheartedly in inclusion and demarginalization of all people, I understand the importance of storytelling as a way to move from the margins and bring attention to important competencies. So instead of waiting to be invited to the table of media messengers, we created our own table and began new empowering, empowering conversations and projects of positivity to educate and uplift the world and the core spirits of people who want to live and thrive in a better world. We can be better. We can do better. And so the lions and lionesses are now telling their stories across the globe. And real stories of Africa are being produced every day. I'm thrilled to see so many young aspiring documentar documentarians creating and recording history through their documentaries. And I hope you will take the time to join in our efforts of improving the conditions of Africa and consequently the world. For no matter who you are or where you live, our home in Africa is your home. We are a family and we welcome you and invite you to come sit with us and help make dreams come true and these voices to be finally heard. I want to send out a special thank you to the sponsor and partners who have joined us in this global endeavor. Members representing the Nigeria Television Authority, you have been absolutely amazing and gracious with your support. We could not do all the things that we have done without you, and we are so honored to call you one of our own, as you have treated us in this same spirit. And I humbly and graciously thank you from the bottom of my heart, because you have truly been amazing team members. Members of the U.S. Embassy in Abuja, Nigeria, out of the public affairs section, your support in sponsoring this event represents dreams that have come into fruition. Our connection speaks volumes about our shared passion to make positive changes, and we thank you. The National Primary Health Care Development Agency and the Center for Disease Control out of the U.S. US Embassy in Abuja I don't have to tell you that many of our topics that need immediate attention are common talking points in the work that you do. Your guidance and expertise and desire to make the world healthier is the baseline of humanity. And we are so proud and honored to join hands with you as we continue on. So I thank you. We also have some other very special guests in the audience. In fact, we have such a long list of names that join us today. I can't mention them all, but I just want to say thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoy yourselves and learn of ways you can also join in this exciting and important endeavor and ways we can work together in the spirit of support. Speaking of which, we have a lot of great programs lined up for you that somehow, some way, I think we can work together, bringing communities together that we serve and need our attention. Some of the programs, for instance, is one is called The Voice of the Dreamers. That provides a platform for stories from and about our youth. I created this platform because I believe in the midst of trauma, dreams allow us to have hope, and hope allows us to take action. If you really think about it, Everything wonderful that has been created probably originated from a thought or a dream of better. And so we want to support the dreams and the voices of the ones who need it most. And we work to find ways of doing just that. The documentary competition and workshops teaches aspiring storytellers how to design their messages for the world to see and hear. The Documentary Lab and the Empowerment Program provides hands-on experience in not only creating documentaries, but also offers leadership development and entrepreneurial skills that will help storytellers find sponsorships and funding for their endeavors. We also have included a documentary league and rating system that allows interaction with the audience, which is very important when it comes to digital and online distribution. 
And speaking of digital content creation, I am so happy to announce that we have developed a documentary app that will enable everyone, storytellers, partners, sponsors, to be able to upload their documentaries and important reports right there on the app. This is so exciting. It provides a direct line to documentaries about Africa, her icons, her stories, her challenges, and her beauty. This is wonderful and a necessary development, and I applaud our team members that made this happen. Not only am I proud of the team we are developing across the globe that includes you as part of our membership, I'm so proud to say that my passion to help the world, and in this case, specifically Africa, to establish her place in global narratives, I'm happy to say it runs in my family. Mr. John Barnett, who you will hear from shortly, is a member of our team, and he's also a member of my family. I introduced him and invited him to join us, not because he's my cousin, <laughs> which is wonderful, but I wanted him to be a part of this endeavor because he has been working for and living in Nigeria and other parts of this beautiful country for over 20 years. He's committed to AFIDFF and has personally told me that he is going to do everything in his power to help make sure that we and our partners are successful. And I want to tell you that says a great deal. For he is a powerful agent in the global community, not only here in Africa, but also in the United States. And our shared love of Africa and the global community is in our spirit and in our blood. And John, I just want to thank you for believing in us and placing your passion into movements and action. This past December, I was able to make a trip to Abuja, Accra, Ghana, and Sierra Leone, West Africa. And soon, I'll be heading to Shenzhen, China with my fellow team member, Lisa Galtieri, as invited facilitators at Unleashed 2019. And I just returned from Canada, where I gave a presentation on inclusion. So I'm doing work within Global Connection, and as president of this foundation, I want you to know that there is a place for you at this table. If you would like to work with us, I warmly invite you to reach out to myself or Director General Manja, Malame Manja, to begin the discussion. I look forward to hearing from you. Finally, I want to thank each and every member of the AFIDFF team. It has been wonderful meeting with you, all of you, and working with you for the purpose and mission of a higher calling. My Director General, Mrs. Malame Manja, my sister, you are truly amazing. I know how tired you must be because you call me at all times of the morning <laughs> here in the U.S., and I so I'm tired too. But it's worth it, isn't it? We spend hours and hours on the phone making sure that we are serving the greater good and the movement of our organization. It is a selfless job, a tiring job, but a job that you have taken on with great leadership and collaboration. And it's wonderful to work side by side with you. And I feel blessed to have you and your amazing partner, Titus, and the rest of the amazing team within my circle. I'm learning a lot and we are doing a lot of great things and I hope you feel the same way. To everyone, I sincerely look forward to meeting and working with you now and in the future. And I am eagerly looking forward to perhaps seeing some of you in person when we have our grand festival right here in the United States next year. It is going to happen and it is happening. So be on the lookout for more details in the not so far future. At the end, until then, may the Most High bless you and the good deeds that you are doing to make the world a better place to live for everyone. I thank you so much for coming today. And after enjoying the show, I know that you will want to continue this partnership or begin a new partnership with us for global unity that requires a village to move in exponential and empowering ways. Together we are united and together we will change the world view when it comes to our most beloved Africa, the beginning of all humanity and civilization. Amazing, right? Thank you everyone for coming today and may God bless you, God bless you and keep you near. Always, take care.